to the uh, to the processes the, the, the processes in the mind. If you're confused, so am I, because I'm as confused as I am can be that I can't get through to your mind at the moment. However, what I do believe is that everybody's reachable. I believe you're reachable. I believe that everybody here can be taught in a way. Now, the key point to remember here is that everybody or everybody you speak to should be communicated to clearly in a way that is understood. Clearly in a way that is understood to them. All right. Now, what I did was in that scenario where uh, I need to rewind on this scenario that I was talking about. And I mentioned that uh, one of my um, uh, one of my clients had come to me and uh, fellow workers had come to me, client fellow workers had come to me and they were consistently displaying behavior at work, which I shouldn't have been. So I sat them down. I'd already been indirect with them and I'd already spoken to them about their behavior. So I said to them, how do you wish to be communicated to? And the person turned around and said to me, well, just be frank with me. I said, do you want me to be frank or nice to you? I said, because I can be nice and it might not go through. So how would you want to be communicated to? Now, by the way, this is a strategy. So I says, okay, this is be frank. So that's exactly what I was, frank. But you know what? The meaning of the communication that I gave out got the result. So that's how I know I was successful with it. Now, that's why I say you need to com communicate clearly in a way that is clearly understood by the client. Now, it doesn't mean that you're going to understand what they say, what they are thinking, because you have to be telepathic to do that. However, you need to be able to comprehend, have insight, understanding and wisdom. Three things, insight, understanding and wisdom. What is their internal world like? Yeah? Now, if someone tells me that they they clearly understand and their behaviour changes, that's when I get the breakthrough. Now, you can be confused and receive understanding. Very often what happens when we get confused? Very often, very often uh, I know that when I'm frustrated, extremely frustrated, and uh, I start to get excited. Because out of that frustration, there's going to be a breeding of a breakthrough. So for me, it's about getting the breeding of the breakthrough. Once you've got the breeding of a breakthrough, you're in good stead. You're in good stead to learn. You're in good stead to take on board. It's not about being nice. It's not about being aggressive. It's not about being too assertive. It's about being what your receiver wants you to be. Now, as I said, I've highlighted a strategy. That is just a strategy for your client to take on board exactly what you're saying. It should be given in a way that is clearly understood. Now, we have many ways of communication. Sometimes we use various tones. Sometimes we use various confusional patterns with the way we speak. So think about the pattern you're using. Think about the pre-framing. I had once had a person that I used to take out that had serious behavioural issues. When I would take them out, they would, they would cause trouble, spit, get violent, etc. with the other workers. Before I took him out, I sat him down. And I said, I'm going to pre-frame you. And the pre-frame is going to be, we're going to have a specific ground rule within our session. And that ground rule is going to be, if you start to mess around or misbehave at some point in time during the session, guess what's going to happen? Session closes cancellation. And then we restart again. It was hard enough getting his client out as it is because he was stuck to his TV at home. All he would watch is a series on TV over and over again. And this caused him to become very insular, uh, antisocial, and all he could relate to was this TV program that he would wa watch, which was a series on TV called Paranormal, or he'd watch it over and over. Now, the good thing is, the communication issue, way I, I used to speak to him worked. And again, I got the result. Within three months, he was role modeling my behavior. Within three months, he was wearing suits. Within three months, he asked me to teach him how to read and write. Now, this kid had some serious issues with other staff members. But for me, he was perfect. So, my conclusion is that I learned to communicate with him in a way that is clearly understood to him. You can learn to communicate clearly by taking notice of the little things 
being very, very observant, using the appropriate words at the right time, conveying your thoughts in such a way that they can penetrate the subconscious. You can learn to do this. All you have to do is wait and listen and wait and listen and say the words at the right time. Don't rush with your words, but just say them at the right time. Say them with the correct tonality. Say them with meaningfulness. Say them with care. Show that you care and not. Or avoid being a robot. Thank you for listening and understanding if you have understood.